many Americans are wondering if a second stimulus check is going to arrive. As the unemployment deadline is looming, millions of people are facing a serious economic cliff. The CARES Act hasn't yet been approved by Congress, but since the economy has worsened in the last few weeks, Americans are demanding action from their legislators. Republicans had initially been fighting against issuing a second stimulus check. They continue to battle Democrats over whether schools should be opened and how the country should proceed with its economic recovery. Senate Leader Mitch McConnell, RKY, has worked with Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin on a package, The details of the package have not yet been released to the public. One thing that's for sure is that this deal isn't going to cost another $3 trillion, the same as the HEROES Act cost back in May. Treasury Secretary Mnuchin confirmed that the proposed second stimulus check will be the same as the first one that was released in May, we're talking about the same provision as last time, so our proposal is the exact same proposal as last time, said Mnuchin. Currently, the discussion surrounds a refundable tax credit of $1,200, plus another $500 per child under the age of 17. However, you must qualify on an income basis. Single filers who earn less than $75,000 a year will get the full amount. Those who earn more will have a reduction of 5% of the amount they earn over $75,000. Joint filers must earn less than $150,000 per year to receive the full amount. If you earn over $150,000, you will see a reduction in your allotment that is 5% of the amount you earned over $150,000. Basically, if you received a check in the first stimulus package, you'll get a check in this one too. President Donald Trump has demanded that the package include a payroll tax cut, but this doesn't appear to be getting through Congress. So it is not clear if he's going to sign the bill as is or not. Other aspects that may cause issues in the negotiations include whether or not businesses and schools can be protected from liability due to virus-related infections. Also, unemployment benefits and back-to-work incentives are a hot topic for debate as well. Once a deal is made, it may take roughly two weeks to get all checks sent out to recipients. On CNBC's Squawk Box, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, RCA, said that he doesn't expect the bill gets done by July which would cause a huge dip in the stock market and economic numbers as unemployment benefits expire for millions of Americans. Please make sure you subscribe to littlebluepiggy.com. Have a wonderful day.